Assalamualaikum. Good morning. My name is Mazatul Hanis Zaya Yusof. Matrix number 
long the time the inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to add because the thing is it last week. That's right. Yes. 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 There's more stillness. Yeah. 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 Ye
that of the second, and then the second is pi long graph, and the third stage is Lampo graph. So in basically during the first minute, continue, continue. Uh, during the first minute of detecting the contrast, you can see the kidney and, uh, in the state of uh, pyogram. So we, uh, when the contrast is detected, we only can see uh, a little bit of contrast taken by the kidney. And then when it's almost uh, about 5 to 8 minutes, it becomes uh, under the state of pyogram. So we can see uh, the full contrast inside the kidney. So if the if any abnormalities, so we can see for example, for your next like this. Stone. Stone as well. Yeah, stone. I don't think it's a kidney. No, uh, yeah. In in line, we cannot see kinesium because kinesium is usually very open, right? Yeah. So when we add in the radio contrast, it will lock. No. Uh, unless, unless, unless we take we take the time, the time, uh, time for the contrast to be Or if the kidney is small, if the kidney, if the contrast takes a longer time, so we can assume, we can assume, assume that there is plenty of. Oh, I think I understand what uh you mentioned in it, right? There's uh obstruction uh there might be a partially obstruction or complete obstruction that block the contrast material to go through. That's why when you look at the speed, you can know that by uh, the anxiety obstruction very complicated. <coughs> Where it might be a partial obstruction because there's the flow of the contract. If this complete obstruction should we will see two distinct yeah. uh, radio opacity in the acid? Uh, sorry, I mean the in the in the in the in the Yeah, I agree. Just yes. wanted to ask if we use the negative contrast, you can see the stone. I don't think so. In TV, we can just see the negative contrast. Normally, in the case of the negative contrast, we use it in the case of GIT. Uh, GIT, uh, normally, when it's applied, when uh, it's gamma. Yeah. 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 So, example, if there's we got suspect anything like tenesmus or any intersection, or maybe we can clear the chronic mass or in the last intestine, so we can be palpate, so we can use negative contrast. Normally, like you say, negative contrast, we can use gas. So, normally, we inject the gas through the part hole. So, okay. so, uh, yes. We call it minima. minima yes. yeah. So in the diagram, you will see uh, the colon will appear in the lucent instead of a radio effect. So next, uh, I would like to talk about structure that normally, not normally visible when we do a normal diagram uh, graph, such as the gas data, pancreas, adrenal glands, arteries, uterus, post-treat, post-treat gland. So when uh, suddenly we saw this structure on the radiograph, then we can suspect that there's something wrong with the uh, uh, organ. For example, we can see the enlarged of the message in terms of we can suspect that there's maybe the infection in the surrounding <coughs> extergraph. So, might we have anything to add for the speed? Not much for the speed, but can I talk about the contrast study of the small intestines? Yeah, so basically, my group was assigned to do the small intestines. And for the contrast study of small intestines, we use barium sulfate or iohexol as well. But in terms, of, in cases where you suspect uh, perforation of the small intestines, we do not want to use barium sulfate because if there's a perforation, that means while the barium sulfate flows in the small intestines, it can leak out into the peritoneal space. And we do not want that because the peritoneum mucosa will recognize the barium sulfate as a foreign, foreign object or foreign body thingy. So it will cause a reaction and then the peritoneum will uh, prepare it like this. 
good information and have a very good accuracy. So IOHexal is preferred in cases where you suspect uh, intestinal perforation because IOHexal, if it leads out into the peritoneum, it will at least be readily absorbed by the peritoneum mucosa. So yeah, that's why we use it. So every time we do a uh, study, we will let it flow in the lumen of the intestines and we will take a radiograph every half an hour to see the position of the intestines. Uh, we we want to add something about the small intestine. Uh, uh, since Mike is talking about the small intestine, I, I have some uh, additional info. Because as we know, uh, the small intestine, we have to measure it according to the normal size so that we can know that it's uh, normal, right? If the size is too small or too big, we need that's abnormal. Maybe of stage or uh, features or necrosis of the intestine. So in dog and cat, we have different of measuring the thickness of the skin. <coughs> so for dog, only we will measure using the dog ribs, so we can directly compare the ribs. So as long as, long as the intestine is smaller than two times of the rib, we consider it as normal. Uh, however, in cat, the small intestine rib, we usually measure around uh, less than uh, 12 mm, so that only that we consider as normal. As long as more than that, we consider the intestine to be enlarged. So this one to add, you can actually differentiate um, the radiograph is either not cat by looking at the lower the part of the intestine because the uh, phylarus of the dog and cat is at different days. For example, the dogs, the phylarus is at the right side of the abdomen, while for the cat, the phylarus is at the right side. So we can see the lower the start at the end of the stomach. So, if we see the lunar at the right side, so you can determine this the top, and if the lunar is the same. Uh, you want to say about stomach, so I want to say about the bit about kidney. Before that, I want to ask everyone, this one is more pregnant, right? Right. 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 Yeah. So, uh, actually, I just want to tell about the size of the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to compute the size of the kidney, it's always in the DPU. You never calculate in the level. So to speak, if you want to indicate the size of the kidney, it's always in the relation to the L2. Like how many times to the L2, and then you can indicate there is any uh, random behavior. Okay, for uh, in case of cat, which is already muted or it's big. The size of the kidney is uh, smaller compared to the intact cat in, com in comparison to the ulcer I would also want to add this uh, small concept is that in most of radiograph, when you try to measure the, the sizes, like the heart or the lung, you always compare these organs with the size of the, <coughs> with the spines. You don't like take a ruler and measure the centimeter of the radiograph. This is because of a fun, this is because of a very nice uh, logical concept because when you're doing x-ray, there's a risk of magnification. Yeah. So sometimes the radiograph for a normal but two uh, for a normal cats, but two radiographs, sometimes they can look so different in terms of sizes. So that's why most of the organs are being compared with the with what since uh, with what is also being magnified in there. Huh? So, for example, if the kidney is also magnified, the spine will be magnified also along with it. So that's why most of the organ in there is compared with the with the spine. Yes. Maybe I'm like and if you use contrast, the normal shape of the national testing is quite interesting because you will show much much And in, in normal colon, 
there will be a smooth, smooth, what, margin, margin, smooth margin. And we can clearly see this is a uh, ascending total transverse and descending we have to do the discussion Okay, as a conclusion, we can see that abdominal view is important to diagnose any abdominal in the stomach, in the in the in the neck tract or the kidney, and also the view, the basic view for the abdomen is anterior view, and also the ventral view. So we can see, we can see. We can use contrast to to further to further describe our finding of the abdominal region. So that's all for now. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.